There's an infinite number of movements that can be done in the climbing gym. Steep walls, big powerful moves. I'm just training because it's really fun. When you're climbing, everything else goes away. You really feel free. When I feel so light that it's effortless for me to hold on, then I feel at the top of my world. I don't get scared that much because I don't really care about heights. <laughs> When I first went to the climbing gym, I was terrible, but I loved it. It clicked, and that's all I wanted to do from that point on. Come on, boss, kick it. Kick. Oh. I'm 17 years old and I've been climbing for 10 years. I do a lot of indoor climbing, especially during the school year to train. I train at the gym about five days a week. I compete basically all year round. I do sport climbing competitions and bouldering competitions. Training indoors, you really get prepared to crush in the comps and that's what I like to do. When I'm in the flow and training and feeling like I'm having a really good day, it's a really good feeling. You feel like you're just flowing up the wall, you feel weightless almost. And I think that that's a feeling that not many other sports that I know of can offer. These holds are pretty small. Definitely fit for some small hands. Like a good climb for you? They yeah. look pretty small, huh? Yeah. Let's see you send it, Ashima. So what do you think you're going to do? I'm going to go to the red one. Yeah. Then get my right hand on the orange, get my left hand on the red thing, then go to the red, then put my foot higher, then get my other hand on the red. A lot of moves, huh? Yeah. and I'm eight years old and I'm soon gonna be nine. I started climbing in Central Park and I was sliding down this big rock. Then when I came down, I saw people rock climbing and I got really interested at it.
lot of young kids that have come up as climbers in gyms in the last decade. It's amazing what they can do because, first of all, they have no fear. You know, in the gym setting, you can practice all kinds of moves and just be able to get pure strength much faster. What's amazing about setting indoors is you just have total freedom. You can create all these awesome moves. We've got four or five problems that Paul and Vasa are trying to session on. Just trying to make some really hard stuff for them to work. Come on. Okay. It's always really cool to try and know what's possible and put it on the wall and visualize it and then have someone execute it. My name is Vasa. I've been climbing for 12 years now. My bouldering sessions are pretty intense. I go for a feeling of power. I like to squeeze until water comes out of the pinches that I grab. What have I done? I took a gun and shot a man. My name is Paul. Come on, Paul. I'm most into really, really hard movements. Movements that have never been done before and, and may have been deemed impossible in the past. Come on. Yes, easy, man. My goal is to travel the world and establish the hardest rock climbs humanly possible. <laughs> Indoor climbing is a huge part of what I do. You can set any type of movement you want and that in itself will get you stronger and will get you more prepared for whatever you come by outside. My goal in climbing is, in my mind, to make every movement I do perfect every single time I step on the wall.
Right now, it's all about training for me. I mean, I, I want every movement to feel really, really easy. And when I can do that, that's the best satisfaction for me in climbing. And then film them some more. That's how we do it. Yeah, now up on the dyno. <laughs>